Broadway. My name is Brian, and today we are going to draw the Funko Pop of Elsa from Frozen. That's right, Elsa from Frozen one more time. However, this time, Funko Pop Elsa. This is my favorite Elsa. Uh, she's cute, she's little, and I love Frozen the movie. So we've done a few Frozen characters. I think quite, quite a few of them, actually. I wouldn't mind uh, doing a few more because I love the movie so much. But today, instead of doing trivia about Frozen or Elsa or Anna, today we're going to give you some facts about Funko Pop. Because Funko Pop is a huge, huge thing in America, at least. I'm not sure around the world. I'm sure it probably is. And I need to tell you some facts about Funko Pop. So, if you're wondering, let's get into some of the facts. Before we do, though, make sure you subscribe, comment, and like the video. All right, here we go. Did you know where Funko Pops first come from? Came from? Yeah, first came from. Big Boy inspired the Funko. If you ever seen Big Boy, he wears those checkered suspenders, and he's holding a burger, and his hair weaves up like Jimmy Neutron. Yes, that big boy, Funko, was originally created by t-shirt designer Mike Becker, who got started back in 1998. The idea sprang from the desire to create a cool vintage coin bank out of his favorite pop culture character, the big boy mascot of the famous restaurant chain. Replicas were too expensive on eBay, so he decided to create his own. And like most inventions, it became popular after he decided to create his own app out of necessity. After that, he was hooked and, of course, made more. General Mills' serial characters were the first Funkos. Count Chocula, does that sound familiar? When Becker started branching out from banks and puppets to vinyl figures, some of the first centered around General Mills' serial characters, Captain Crunch, Count Chocula, Frankenberry, and, of course, many, many more. These first were bobbleheads created for Becker's line of wacky wobblers. It wasn't until 2010 that the first pops hit the scene at San Diego Comic-Con. And once you hit San Diego Comic-Con, guess what? You're branching out from there. Everybody loved them. And, you know, I think that's when I first started to really see them come to life. Funko Pops, I started collecting them here and there. Uh, nothing too big though, I only own a few, but I wish I kind of would have gotten some more because some are worth a thousand dollars today. But um, anyway, so that's some of the history on Funko Pop. And uh, did you know that it almost ended before it even began? Like most stories that we've heard of throughout these drawing videos. When Becker was just starting, he had a difficult time dealing with everything from distributors, failing to pay him, to finding an audience for the toys. Burned out at one point, he even contemplated giving up altogether. And guess what? You would not have seen any Funko Pops. No more, at least. But luckily, he did not give up. It wasn't until entrepreneur and eventual Funko CEO Brian Mariotti discovered Becker's toys and purchased the company in 2005. That things really began to take off. Even then, it was a slow process like anything in life, right? So just like this channel and any channel you may do on YouTube or your drawing career, art career, or anything else in life, it takes time to really get established. Everybody thinks that everything happens overnight, but it really doesn't. Now you may boom overnight, but everything that prepared to that moment made it happen. Did you know that Funko Pops almost had a different name? When Mariotti debuted the prototype line that would become Pops at San Diego Comic-Con in 2010, they were branded as Funko Force 2.0. <laughs> The name didn't catch on and Funko's existed fan base wasn't sold on the figures, which included Batman and Green Lantern. But he noticed the new figures did attract a different crowd. One filled with female fans and those unfamiliar with the Funko name. Soon afterwards, the company settled on Funko Pops as the brand name of the figurine. Did you know that Funko has never released Super Mario figures? Hmm. 
Well, that's a cool fact, but it looks like we're out of time. I'm sorry, I know. How did your Elsa turn out? How did your Funko Pop turn out? I hope it turned out amazing. I'm sure it did. Thank you so much for being here with me today. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>